I sand it this stock down more to give the paint a key to help it stick and I've attached it to this board I put a couple of wee spacers to keep it up so I can get an even spray all around I've uh, given it a couple of coats of primer and I'm going to put uh, a camouflage coat on it now there's plenty of ways to do this I'm not saying this is the best way this is just the way I do it um, if you're wanting to use paints there's paints on the market specially designed for this for camouflage and rifles and equipment and that there or if you do what I'm for doing you can buy stuff from DIY um, just go for something that hasn't a, a gloss or a satin fit go for something as dull a colour as possible as flat and non-reflective Primarchs usually have a fairly flat colour like um, works best um, uh, what I'm going to use is uh, as a crinkle type paint um, you put a base colour onto it and then you spray a colour another paint of a different colour over the top of it and it cracks and uh, like a marble or spider's web effect and the colour below shows through um, it works quite well uh, and I'm going to use it you can uh, either cut out shapes and stencil leaves and branches and that over this uh, it's a bit more work. What I do is generally hit it with a base coat and then spray it with green and then I take various other colours like uh, black and a wee bit of white and a wee bit of earthy brown and just do wee streaks close and far away streaks to leave lines and you know go in different directions in and out of you know sharp fine lines to broad faded lines and that there, I just go back and forth until um, I'm happy with it um, and then I'll give it a coat of uh, hard wearing uh, clear lacquer of some sort, I've got some two pack lacquer so I have and that uh, will be a good hard wearing coat on it so here we go, make sure your tins are all well Shut it off before you start.
No, that's the finished article. You can leave it like that, there's a fairly flat finish on it, but it'll not wear terribly well, so you need to coat it with a good uh, clear lacquer of some sort. It'll brighten it, but a sheen on it though, but you can dump it down with a bit of fine wool, just gently rub it down with a piece of very, very fine steel wool, and it'll give it a, a dull finish again. But that's not too bad. Well that's my MFR finished. Not too bad a job for an Egypt Wilmer spray cans I suppose.